All right, hey everyone, ACA30 here. This is the sixth episode of my YouTube series teaching you how to set up and use the IPDB Discord bot. In this episode, we'll be covering the auto mod module of the bot. As we can see in the sidebar, if we click tools and utilities, there's two options, both legacy auto moderator and V2. Legacy auto moderator is deprecated and will in fact be completely removed from the bot in a future version. So for this, we're gonna be learning how to use auto mod V2. There's a great video from the bot's creator Jonas about this, so there isn't really a need to create another video going over the exact same stuff, and frankly, he can probably explain it better than me anyways. Without further ado, I'll give it to Jonas. Hello! So this is going to be a quick overview of the new Automoderator for YAGPDB. It is made to replace the old one, which was not very extensible and very rigid. This new system though is made from the ground up, and it's much much more complex than the old one so I decided to make a video on it what what I'm gonna do in this video is give you an example I'm gonna set up a basic basic setup which most servers probably want and uh, you know uh, yeah we'll start let's start on that right now so as you can see we have the ability to create rule sets you have the ability to create lists we'll start with the rule sets though how the system works is we have rule sets and inside of those rule sets we have lists, right? So you'll name this main. You can name it whatever you want. It's I just felt, feel like main is a good name for it. So we have some options there. We can enable or disable it. You can also do the three commands. You can also apply conditions to it on the entire rule set, which yeah, we are going to add a condition which is going to be ignoring bots. You're going to save that. Most servers probably want this, although you can create advanced setups where you apply certain rules to bots and apply more rules to normal people. But for this setup, I'm just going to have everything ignore bots. Now, you have the option to do what you want with the system, that is the goal. You, you build up everything yourself, basically. So the new rule is going to be named basics. For the basics, very basics. Yeah. You have triggers, conditions and effects. It's it's just as it says, you know, triggers activates the rules and it goes through the conditions, which is going to be the same stuff we saw above. We have ignore roles, channels, account age, member, duration and uh, yeah. You know, ignore channel categories as well, you know. It might be a simpler thing to do. More efficient. But, uh, yeah. So we'll add some basic triggers then, which is gonna be... Server invites. Which is invites to other servers, and that also includes some third-party server lists. Because those also have been used by bots these days. Um, we, are, we are going to include Google flag bad links, which uses Google safe browsing. It, it, it just shows the most, it, it just does the most extreme cases like uh, virus sites and stuff like that. It doesn't do porn. I should probably put that down, but for now, yeah. Then we are going to do mentions here. If a me message contains more than four mentions you want this to be triggered then we'll move on to the effects we have a short selection of effects there we are gonna start with deleting the message so we'll save this then we'll jump into discord and then we will mention five people since that's what I think I had that but we'll see as you can see, it deleted the message. I'll just quickly get rid of this notification. I can send all the messages completely fine. Hello there, how are you doing? I'm talking to myself now. That's fine. So, that's a very basic setup. But you probably want more than this. Most servers probably do. So, what if you want to punish people if they repeatedly break the rule? Right. For that, we're gonna add another effect to it. The effect is gonna be plus violation. 
You'll name this, um, you can name it whatever. It's it's just a key to it. It's, it's just what we used to track them. And then we'll create a new rule. We'll name this a uh, break type because we're telling them to take a break or forcing them to rather. And uh, we'll add a trigger. X violations in Y minutes. The name is going to match the effect. And uh, how we have it set up here is if they break that rule four times within 60 seconds, this is going to trigger. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted. We'll add an effect, which is going to be mute user. You'll mute them for 10 minutes, right? And save it. Now, if I spam this four times or three times, no, yeah, four times actually, you can see we got a message. We got muted. I, I am bypassing the mute now, so I can still send messages, but we got muted. You can see that we triggered the real basics, followed by triggering, triggering the real break time. Oh, we can also go into the logs here as well, you know, if you know, we, th we think we bugged the auto mod, you know, you can see that there. Like the X violations in one minutes. Right, so that's a very basic setup here. We'll move on to lists now. Right. What if you want to ban certain words? Or, you know, whitelist certain words? Well, we have to set up a list for that. As you can see, we have no list set up. It's mad at us. So, we'll create two new lists. One for bad words, and then one for bad websites. For bad words, they're gonna put in something like fucking shit. And then bad websites, we're gonna put in google.com. We are not putting in full links, it can only ban domains. Reasons for that is, amongst other things, simplicity and performance. If you really want to, you can use a regex trigger, but you can ha only have a limited amount of them, so yeah, maybe not so ideal. But that's where it's at now. We'll go back into the main rule set, and we will see that we have Word blacklist. What does this do? It triggers on messages containing words in the specified list. Bad words. That's what we wanted. And now we'll, we'll add a website blacklist. What does this do? It triggers on messages containing links to websites in the specified list. Not bad words, but bad websites. Right, nice. So that's list covered. Now you can add more lists if you want. I think the limit to them is 10 or something. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I'll find out on later. And you know, that's the simple setup. You can add more, you, you, you just build up, build more on it, you know. If you want to say ban them after more violations, you can do that as well, you know, ban time. violations in one minutes q and uh, say 10 even though this is impossible since we muted them here so we'll do like uh, 100 and oh no that's only a 10 minute mute. yeah so we'll do 120 minutes there and then we'll bend them you know since we have this checked here if this rule gets triggered this one won't because we have this checked Ignore if a higher violation trigger of this name was activated. So that's that's what that is for. So yeah. Well, I'll quickly go over the more obscure ones. We have nickname triggers. You know, I can I can show you that as well. Yeah, yeah. Say so bad nick, for example. If if a nickname contains a bad word, you know. Nickname word blacklist bad words and effect is going to be we are going to remove their nickname 
can show you that that's, this works as well. I can change this guy's nickname to uh, Fuck. And you can see that it's it's very easy to bypass right now. And uh, that, that's just, yeah. For more fine control, you can use uh, the regex for nicknames. You know, you can also use a whitelist for words instead if you want to have a pre pre preset list of words available for nicknames. Uh, I can quickly explain some other triggers as well, which is we have X user messages within Y seconds, X channel messages within Y seconds. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it means that you know if if there's more than X messages in a channel in Y seconds, it's the same it mentions. We can you know have instead of just a simple instead of just a simple per message mention check. You know we can have one spanning multiple messages. Raids these days have been become that advanced that they, they limit their mentions to one per message now and instead they bring in like 20 bots. This is fairly good at deleting messages. It I think it can handle up to, to um, at least 20 minutes messages per second. It, 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 can, it can delete at least 20 messages per second. And more than that I'm unsure of what the raid limit is. But uh, yeah, we have some raid triggers here as well. You know, you you could put those in a separate rule set and enable those when when you're under a under a raid. But that's the basics. That's that's it for now. You build up. Uh, you build more on this as you feel like. And yeah, see ya. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and feel free to comment down below with any questions you have and I'll be sure to get to as many of them as I possibly can. If you have further questions, feel free to join the support server at aca30.com slash and the link is also in the description down below. Thanks guys!